what's up guys this is my first in a series of uh, video tutorials on the on the java programming language specific to uh, the icse curriculum and I i'm just going to start in this first video by i'm not going to code at all in the first video i'm just going to try and summarize java and explain some of the fundamental concepts of java i'm not going to go into too much of detail i'm just going to explain the basic concepts that java follows which will be very important for you to understand if you want to do well in icsc or for that matter program in java so the first thing i want to explain is everything in java is well it, it can be taken in a manner that it can be related to real life so we can say that java is very real life oriented real life there very real life oriented okay and another thing we can say is that now i'm going into a technical term don't panic when you see this it's an oop i'm sure many people just read this and they get scared oop stands for object oriented programming language and it's it's very simple it is not a complicated term so don't get frightened i will explain everything so java is object oriented now what object oriented means is that it's made up of objects now what is an object anything is an object you are an object i am an object your car is an object your house is an object your computer on which you are seeing this video is an object everything is an object now let me become a little more specific and talk in terms of java i defined an object for you in terms of real life now let me put that into java language or well java thought process so let's say a car you probably have traveled in a car sat in a car you know that there is not only one car in the world there are many cars there are ferraris there's i10s tata nanos whatever you can think of there are many cars in the world now is every car in the world a ferrari no is every car in the world an i10 no it's not so we can say that the car is a class and both of these things are merely objects of this class now let me try to explain in a better manner you are driving your car well you shouldn't be if you're giving the icsc unless well you're rating so you are driving a car or you are sitting in a car you are sitting in let's say you are sitting in a ferrari feels nice na yeah i know you are sitting in a ferrari and you see a tata nano on the road now what is common to both your ferrari and that other tata nano what is common is that they both are sub classes of car so what i mean to say is that the car class has can have as many objects created from it so the car is like the framework of any other object that is created so we can think of ferrari as an object nano as an object i10 as an object and i hope this concept is clear in your head now so anything can be thought of as an object but the car cannot be thought of as an object the sub classes of car like ferrari i10 nano can be thought of as objects but the car is the class the car is the basic framework through which you can have other objects for example and the ferrari well it's a very expensive car very lavish very extravagant but the nano it's probably the cheapest car on this planet so but they both are objects of the class car which means that they both have some 
similar characteristics and well their own separating characteristics whatever so if we were to list the similar characteristics they have gears all cars have gears they have a steering they have wheels and so on so I hope you get my idea now everything that there is well every anything you can imagine can be segregated into a class and an object if you're holding well if you're holding um, let's say a Microsoft mouse so that is the subclass of the class mouse the fact that it is made by Microsoft is completely different that Microsoft mouse which you have is the object and the class is mouse so that way you can define a class as a group of objects having similar characteristics and behavior this is specifically Java lingo and an object as an instance of a class an instance of a class so the Ferrari is one instance of the car class so is the i10 so is the nano and i hope i have been able to make this video clear to you and i guess have a good day that's all for this